everyone today I want to shoot a quick tip video because I've got this amazing scenery around me and uh, I've got my camera down here set up and I wanted to show a little trick that I use to help get the most image quality out of cheaper lenses. So I do have a wide variety of lenses for my Sony a7R2, this camera right here, but this is the only lens that I have that goes to 300 millimeters. I've got wide angle cover. I, I basically got everything covered. I just do not have a 300. So um, I've got this lens. It's not the best lens. There's definitely better lenses out there and it's definitely very soft. Now, because this camera is super high megapixels, when you pair it with a soft lens like this one, you're gonna end up getting not the nicest results. When you zoom into a photo after you've taken it up really close, then you're gonna see that it's not <laughs> not really the best quality. Anyways, today I'm gonna to show you how to change that up, how to get really sharp photos out of cheaper lenses like this. Now, one of the keys is that you're gonna to need to have a lot of light, which luckily we do. And uh, you're gonna also wanna be using manual mode on your camera. So I'm on manual mode right here, and I've got this little composition going on here where I have the lily right in the middle of the entire frame. It looks super cool, I think it's nice. So usually what would happen is when you zoom in, generally it tries to make the aperture as wide open as possible to let in as much light in as possible. Now what I did is I actually toned, turned down the aperture to f8. Now with most lenses, f8 is when the lens performs the best. It's the sharpest at f8. And when you go a little bit further, then it starts to lose quality due to diffraction. And when you go lower, then it just isn't as sharp. Now with this lens, I find that F8 brings the most image quality out of it. And most likely your lens is gonna be the same. Most of the time, that's what it is. So to get the greatest image quality, I set it to F8. Now I adjust my shutter speed so that the image is around the right exposure. Now, uh, I know it's a little bit underexposed, but I'm trying to do that intentionally. That's my goal. Now, I also have my ISO set to 100 because I want to have as little noise in the image as possible. So, I also have the lens set on manual focus because sometimes these cheaper lenses aren't that great at autofocus. I do know that the camera is responsible for the autofocus, but the lens actually has a lot to do with it too. So when you do manual focus, you want to zoom right in and make sure that it's tack sharp. So I've set it pretty much to be tack sharp already. So now I can pretty much go and take the photo and it should look relatively sharp. If we zoom in, you'll see that there's a ton of detail actually excellent detail and it looks great with this cheapo lens so you can actually get some really great results with cheap lenses like this uh, you just got to know how to use them you got to see at what point they are at their sharpest and uh, yeah it's actually it's pretty fun now let's just put it onto automatic mode and see how the camera handles the situation we're gonna put everything back onto auto so we'll put auto focus on and everything even see that it's focusing here so let's fix that oh we can't fix our focus point in automatic mode we'll go to program mode just to do this proof of concept but yeah there we go so you can see that it increased the shutter speed and decreased the aperture because auto mode really likes to put the aperture really low but in this case scenario we would rather have it higher to have better image sharpness now if we take this photo Now, once you take the photo, you will notice that it is pretty soft. This is just the lens. The lens is always soft at 5.6 when you're zoomed in all the way at 300. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions, do leave them down below. I will try to answer them. And hopefully you can get some sharper images with some of your cheaper lenses like this one. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.